Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another awesome math video. Um, this one is on the second law of logs. So the second law of logs. So the second law of logs is a law of subtracting. So if you're subtracting two logs with the same base, so log base B of X, subtract log base B of Y, very simply what you do is you create a single log, log base B, now they have to have the same base for this to work. And you divide what's inside each one of the log functions. Excuse me, so x divided by y. That is it, very simply. Nothing more to it than that. So let's see this law in action and let's see how it's used to simplify something. So if we have two logs, say log of b of let's say 20 and we're subtracting log base b. Actually, let's give it a real base. Let's try that over again. Doop -doop -doop. Say log base 3 of 20 minus log base 3 of 2. So we're subtracting these two logs. So what we need to remember is we're subtracting, so we divide by what's inside the log function. So log of 3 and then 20 divided by and that gives us log 3 of 10. So we simplified two logs down into one using our second rule of logs. So one of the things I do to try and remember my rules of logs is I compare them to my laws of exponents. So you might know those a little bit better because you've probably done those for a longer time. So my second law of exponents is if I'm um, dividing powers, so if I have say 2 to the x divided by 2 to the y, then I subtract my exponents. So it's very similar to this. If I'm subtracting two logs, I divide my what's inside my log function. So if I'm dividing two powers, I subtract their exponents. If I'm subtracting two logs, I divide what's inside them. So it's, they're very similar, just inverses of each other, so to say. All right, so let's look at another example. So this example here, instead of um, instead of having um, you know two logs to begin with. If we have one, we have to separate them. So let's start out with log base 4 of, let's go 17 divided by 3. So very simply, we got something that's divided inside, so we can separate it into two log functions. So log of base 4 of 17 minus log 3 of 17. And that's it. So that's basic basis of the log. I so obviously it'll occur in much harder positions, but this is a fundamental understanding that you need to have is how you use the second rule of logs. So hopefully this helped guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in class. Have a great day.